What up there guys, craig 7 bringing you yet another update on the add-on called Better Battle Log. They just released version 1.4. Uh, this one's not as big an update as 1.3, but it still adds in some great features that, uh, yeah, I just think a lot of people should uh, know about this thing because it's, it's pretty handy. So, uh, this is the download page. I'll put a link to this in the description of this video. And, uh, Real quick, I am going to point out that here is my battle log right now. Uh, you'll probably notice that it uh, doesn't look like a typical battle log. Um, this is not part of Better Battle Log add-on, this uh, darker look. I downloaded something called Stylish, which is an add-on for Firefox. I'm sure there is a uh, version of this for Chrome. And then, after I got that, I downloaded the theme right here, Battle Log Dark Theme. I will put links to uh, both Stylish and this uh, Dark Theme in the description of this video. So, once you do those, it'll make it look like this. Um, one of the features of Better Battle Log that I uh, never did point out in some of my previous uh, video reviews of this is in the awards section. They changed the uh, layout of them. Uh, they made them uh, in my opinion much more streamlined and also when you uh, move your mouse over one of your ribbons uh, you see over here to the left it puts a bluish uh, square around the metal that it coincides with and as I move down the line you'll notice that they are now in the same order so it's a lot easier to find uh, your ribbons and your metals and it's a uh, eh, nothing really too serious but again this is just a uh, you know aesthetic things that just make it, it a much more streamlined process. So uh, one of the big changes to uh, 1.4 is again in the weapons tab when you click on a gun you go to its page. Um, one of the changes in 1.3 was the addition of these uh, characteristics to adjusting the accuracy plot they had uh, one slot where you could choose the attachments in this version, 1.4. They have added in the two slots. Uh, that's because, you know, you could attach a suppressor and a uh, foregrip. Um, but with only one slot, you could only look at them one at a time. So now I can look at the M16 with a suppressor. And there's the changes in addition to the foregrip. Or I can look at it with just the foregrip. So now you can see what it actually looks like if you have your two attachments on there. Uh, <laughs> and it's got a few, I don't know if this will be fixed, but you can put uh, like suppressor, you couldn't have the uh, heavy barrel in addition to the suppressor and it kind of looks a little weird. Like it's got these straight looking lines, but it doesn't matter because you can't have both those anyways. But, um, and again, you know, you can do this to any of the weapons. We're going to switch to another weapon. Let's take a look at the L85. This weapon, looking at the projected stats from this patch coming up soon, the L85 looks like it's going to be my most used weapon, so I've been paying attention to it. Alright, I generally rock out a, a suppressor and a foregrip on my uh, assault weapons, so we're going to do the same here and look at no, suppressor and foregrip. Now I can look at them and I can just cycle between the two tabs and see clearly the M16 is the victor here, but post patch, uh, that L85 is going to look a little more appetizing. Now, uh, the second change is in this window right here, the extended weapon information. Uh, most of this is still uh, pretty typical of what's been there, except the, they added in this uh, bullet drop. Uh, it now tells you how many uh, meters your bullets will drop per second. Um, and then if you move over to the little chart part, it'll actually show a visual representation of what this looks like. And obviously max distance, 900 meters, and so you see the chart right there, 900 meters is where that's going to drop off. Um, 975 meters, and this one's got the same uh, drop rate, but of course its max distance is a little different, so not too much of a difference in its uh, charts representation. Let's take a look at a let's take a look at one of the PDWs MP7 so that's its chart at 585 so that shows that it's uh, gonna drop by uh, 
20 meters. So yeah. Uh, again, this is not too big an update compared to uh, 1.3, but if you guys haven't already, definitely check out this thing, Better Battle Log. Again, I'll have the the uh, download page in the description of this video, and you guys have a good one.